Remember the casino. We were we were building the casino. It was almost done. And then uh, I don't know, did I fall asleep and wake up here? I mean how did this happen? Hamster Genie. That's who it was. I was building the casino with Hamster Dini. I wonder what happened to him. Huh. Well, I don't have much. I have one wool, one dirt. And I guess these trap doors here. I'm not sure. This isn't part of my bed. I don't know how that it must have like fallen out of my bedroom though. That's a long way to fall. I'm surprised if that happened, I never survived. I don't think that's what happened. I quite like this place though. If I build a house, I might build it here. Yeah, actually that's what I'll do. I'll build a house and then we'll kind of look around to see if I can find stuff out. See if I can find people maybe, I don't know. Cows. Yeah, let's get building.
Okay, I'm just down in the caves mining copper. I was digging for resources, iron and stuff. And I found that there's a lot of copper down here. Unfortunately, there wasn't much of a chance to build with copper where I was before. So I guess new start means a new building style, I'm not sure. But I did not realize how much copper you needed to build something. Ah, this is not even going to be close to enough for what I need. I've been looking to see if I could find any sign of uh, other s sentient creatures, any intelligent creatures. Uh, the most intelligent I saw was a dolphin, I think. So, I'll try to look around. I saw some villagers, but they're not really intelligent, are they? I saw an axolotl, those way too big. I think... I'm not sure if that has intelligence because of how big it is. I might want to capture that thing. But for now, I'm just... I'm worrying about my house. That's it. Once I get a house done, maybe I can explore a little. See if I can figure out where I am. Okay. Well, I think I have enough copper now to put my roof on. Um, the thing is... I don't have enough fuse box. I have nine honeycomb. And I know that this stuff oxidizes pretty quickly. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Um, I might go looking for some beehives, maybe. Oh, you know what I can do? I can craft a campfire. Because what I don't want to happen is I don't want to put my roof down and then it starts oxidizing and it's all I come back and it's all blue. I don't want a blue roof. I want a nice, maybe I want it a little bit oxidized, but not, not too oxidized, you know, like the second stage of oxidization. So let's craft a campfire up. Uh, coal I have in there. And I'm quite happy with this house I have here. The thing is, there's no roof yet, but I got my horse up here on the roof. This is, of course, where I'm going to put my bookshelves once I get them. I have my enchanting table here, my bedroom. It's quite nice. I might have a little bit of a crafting station up here, or maybe a storage room, because my closet storage room isn't great. But yeah, it's a great location. Let's see if I can craft a campfire and find some beehives, though. I'll craft two campfires. Oh, and I'm going to need my shears, which are okay, yeah. kind of broken. Actually, if I take a lead, I could lead some of them back to my house. Ooh, maybe I should do that. Yeah, yeah, actually, new plan, change of plans. I'm going to make sort of a, a bee farm at home. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Maybe I could put it in here. Then these doors would need to be closed. Yeah, let me change this a little. There we go. Now the bees won't be able to escape. Uh, put the door down there. Uh, yep. There we go. So we can have the beehive somewhere in here. Let's see. Where's a good location? Maybe right here. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, let's make a beehive. There we go. And now, if we lead some bees back here, they'll harvest pollen. Do they? Oh, actually, I don't know. I'm not sure if they harvest pollen from the flower pot. I know they harvest pollen from these glow berries. Hmm, we'll see. Anyway, let's see. I'll put the roof materials away for now. Or you know what? I want it to sort of oxidize. So actually, let me do th that first. Yeah, I'll put the roof down first and then we'll go get the bees.
about here. This is where I saw the big axolotl. I'm looking for flowers, but okay. There's definitely someone. Either that was not an axolotl or it's a very smart axolotl. I'm not really sure if a small aquatic creature could build this. This is pretty amazing though. Um, but anyway, I saw a flower forest over here that I want to investigate, see if I can find some bees maybe and lure them back. I do have a campfire if I need to place it down and smoke them out. So let's see what's going on over here. There's a lot of flowers as expected. I don't see any bees here actually. I'd expect there to be quite a few bees. I unfortunately don't have silk touch, so if I find a beehive, I can't pick it up or anything. Okay, here's one. Um, are they in there now, though? I can't, I don't know. Let's see, I'm going to smoke this one out first. Get that out of there. Look how good that's looking. That is very nice. A lot of the, it's, taking, it's going to take a while for the roof to oxidize, as you can see. It's just basically those two <laughs> there. And that one there. Um, you know what? I might just slap some wax on it. On the ones that have oxidized, because I want them to be in that state. Oh, I haven't put my chimney yet. There's going to be a chimney here. It goes, it's going to go down through the floor there, into the kitchen. I have my stove. So we need a lot more wax to eventually wax all of this here. But for now it's fine. Oh, I see one right there actually. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um Maybe I should try to get some touch. That would probably be a good idea. I have 32 levels. I think it's I don't have a have or bookshelves. That is not enough to do anything, really. Um, so maybe that's maybe that's what I'll do. I will try to go looking for some cows and some sugarcane. Yeah. I forget which do I have more of right now. Cow. Uh, cow. Leather or sugarcane. My. Paper. So I need leather. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take the shirts with me in case I see beehives, but we're gonna go on a journey. Well, I found a village, which is very convenient because I can get the books straight out of here. Uh, I don't know if there's any other bookshelves in here, but I will take the bell. Give me all your leather, please. Thank you. I think there is a chance you can find silk touch stuff in these. Like a silk touch golden pickaxe, maybe. A uh, golden apple. Oh, here we are. Ugh, this is way too far for me to lead the bees back, though. I've decided that I am going to bring one of these bees back home. Just stuck it in the back of my boat. <laughs> and we're gonna carry it home like this. I'm gonna keep my eyes out still for cows. But I can make a few books. I can make, well, eight books, I guess. Plus 12, so that's 20. If we get all six bookshelves down when I get back home... I'm not sure what level that will bring us to. Hopefully it'll be high enough for Silk Touch. I'm not exactly sure where Silk Touch starts at, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Oh, that's the same kind of fall. 7. Nice. What? 
level. That brings us to level 22. Okay, I'm gonna need to do some research to see what level uh, it needs to be to get Silk Touch. You know what I might try doing? I might try just uh, sticking the book in and then sticking the pickaxe in, seeing if I can get Silk Touch. Uh, so, impaling, breaking, oh, efficiency 3 and breaking efficiency 2. And then what I can do is I can just run over here. I'm breaking. Sharpness. Oh, there we go. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. And then we can just go boom, boom. And we got soap touch just like that. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, let's. We might make a different greenhouse for these guys if we have multiple bees, because this greenhouse is nice, but it is not big enough. Maybe like over there, we'll make a greenhouse. Perfect. Ah, uh, too bad. I can't see what's inside of them. I think I just saw a bee go inside of it, though. Okay, I've got a few. Okay, I've got a few beehives now. Um, I, I'm definitely gonna go out and get more. Cause I'm gonna need a lot of beeswax to wax my whole roof. But this is not gonna work. Just having it here. So I was thinking, uh, I could sort of have it out here. I could have uh, it extend out this way, sort of. And then have these like wooden beams going over. Uh, so I'm gonna clear out a little room to do that. So I'm still getting the glass for this greenhouse, but this is. I think this is gonna be good. I can have a lot of plants in here, a lot of leaves. Uh, and I have the campfires here. I can put the beehives above it. Um, but I wanted to try something because I've always liked how fence gets connect to walls. So if I do something like this, oops, I need to put that the right orientation though. It kind of looks like it's hanging there. I like that, oh, except that's not gonna work, dang it. I don't know, I feel like I should maybe put these one block outwards. One block inwards, no, no, outwards, because then I could have decorations in the outwards on the outside then without intruding on the inside. Okay, yeah, I think I'll move these out one block. I was kind of going based on this size here. But that could work. That could definitely work. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I think that'll be smart. I'm coming back home. I got quite a bit of honeycomb. Uh, I'm gonna put this on my roof. We do have the bees here, but uh, what in the world? Uh, who is this? Excuse me, hello? 